Hello guys, how you doing? So, I'm going to watch episode 4 of the second season of the Rising of the Chilled Hero today. And it looks like um, this fight against uh, the spirit uh, tortoise uh, is not uh, over um, uh, yet. Like for some reason, uh, it's uh, managing to keep um, like uh, itself um, alive. And uh, I'm assuming that um, it's probably something that uh, the guy who's controlling it um, uh, is doing, right? I'm not too sure, but uh, I mean they literally cut uh, its head and uh, like it's still um, alive. So that's already. Surprising uh, enough. So I want to see what um, happens uh, next. Maybe this guy will uh, show will show up. Like I don't know if that uh, would be a thing or not. Um, but uh, the thing is that um, I also don't want um, like that girl to disappear because um, of this. Like she's been helping um, a lot. So it would be great if they could uh, like stop the spirit tortoise. Um, but like at the same time, while like um, preventing um, her from dying. Um, but yeah, like I have to wait and see what um, will happen during um, this episode. Like it's going to be interesting to see how they deal with this whole situation. Like uh, what's going to, what they will have to do to finally put a stop um, to all of this. So yeah, with this, just hope you guys are ready and let's start the episode. Oh, they're going to show her story. Oh. That really sucks. Oh wait, is this going to explain why she loves... These... Damn, now it makes sense. Okay, now it's more understandable why she's she's like so in love with him. Hmm. Oh my god, the ears. So adorable. Hmm. Oh, the bag. Oh, wait. Wait, so... Wait, is this something I wasn't uh, really aware of? She's saying that Itsuki should be there as well? At the back of the... the tortoise? I thought they weren't joining on this, but I guess they... Not too sure. Also something that crossed my mind before. Maybe the guy who's controlling it... Maybe it could be... Like there. On the spirit tortoise, somewhere. So maybe you will actually have to 
to show up and stuff. Maybe it's not like uh, that far as I was thinking before. But yeah. Either way, I just really enjoyed the start of this episode already. Like explaining why she's so in love with uh, with Itsuki. It's like uh, she like he saved her life and her parents, so of course uh, she's like really grateful and like it's understandable in the end the feelings that she has. Hmm. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm expecting the person controlling it to be at. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, Philo makes everything better. <laughs> Same for Raftalia. Yeah, she helped a lot. That's why I already like her so much. And I hope they manage to... to save her. It's not her fault that this is happening. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of people already like her. Of course, it's something that maybe she wasn't expecting because of the circumstances. But yeah, like her actions are are good right now, so. Hmm. Yeah, this... Hmm. Ooh. Yeah, that's going to be something. Hmm. <laughs> 
Oh, that's so cute. Philo and the raft all live together. Oh, she was... Oh my god. She was also noticing it. I love it. Hmm. Yeah, that was sad to see. Exactly. Hey, that was really sweet of her. And she's really nice. Oh, she's... Remembering something? It's happening! Ooh. Something is going on. Man, I'm really liking this development. Oh. It's one of the villages it destroyed or something. Oh. Oh, this was... Damn, that sucks. I'm not too sure if this is like that same place or it's just like reminded them of of it. So yeah, that that whole place was on top of the tortoise without them knowing, right? I'm not too sure if that's it or not, or if I'm just like misunderstanding it. But right now they are on the Spirit Tortoise, right? Hmm. Ooh. 
Hmm. It's hard. She's so adorable. Ooh. <laughs> the way she said it. Ooh. Hmm. More information about it. Yeah, this honestly looks more like a, like her sing. Exactly my point before. It's not like she needs to fight like and stuff to be helpful. Oh. It's actually It's Japanese, that's what I was thinking about. Like from his world. Damn. Seven? Wait, are there seven? Just defeat this monster, you must. Damn, this is big. Was the seven to the wave number or something? Of course. This always happens. This is something though, there's like... That's unlucky, but at least they got some information. What's the way to defeat it, though? She was, like... She was about to say it. Oh. Where is that, though? Oh. Oh, so now it's actually... I mean, sounds straightforward enough. Destroy the heart. She wants to go. Hmm.
Man, that's so... so brave of her. I really like her a lot right now. Really loving this development. Like learning about her situation and stuff. I like what she's doing. <laughs> My god, he's actually thinking about this. <laughs> I mean, it's... Uh... I guess it's fair to think about it. Some um, curiosity. Yeah, also, this about the other heroes. Yeah, she's perfect the way she is. Oh. What the? Who's that? You was trapped here? Oh, there's more. Wait. Yeah, this is a bit sketchy. Hmm, they're up to something. Yeah, I don't think they're like... You shouldn't trust them. Oh, are they like disguising? Are they like actually familiars? Disguising as humans? Oh, wait, it's them! Yeah, and glass, right? Oh, damn, their ear! Yeah, it's her, glass. <laughs> she felt it. Hmm. Okay, that's really surprising. I actually thought it could be like familiars inside, like pretending to be humans to. To trick people who came in here. What are they doing there though? That's really surprising, that's for sure. Also wonder like... Like there's a lot of questions <laughs> going through my mind right now. But yeah, like I wanted to... Talk a bit about that hero part. Like, it's a bit hard for me to process all of this, like to keep up with everything, but um, I remember them saying that um, the other heroes died and stuff, and that's something that um, I didn't want to believe. But then there was like um, this moment when I don't remember who did it, I don't know if it was Ost. Or if it was someone else, but someone told Richia that uh, he was still alive, so... So I guess... Uh, in the end, like there was all of these people coming up with this rumor that they had died. But I had the idea that they didn't even... Uh, they didn't even like... Uh, went there to... Uh, to begin with, so they wouldn't uh, like be killed uh, like because of that. But I guess it was it ended up being true that they came here um, anyway, right? So the heroes, like the, the other ones, 
they ended up um, joining on this uh, before, right? So that's uh, at least uh, how I'm understanding it um, right now. So it would make sense uh, the fact that they are at the spirit um, uh, a tortoise and that something happened and uh, they need help uh, right now. Um, so yeah, it's at least uh, how I understand it uh, right now. I'm not too sure if that's it or not. So you guys could help me out um, uh, with that in case uh, I'm wrong. Um, but yeah, the big thing about this episode was, um, of course, uh, it was the like the way it ended with uh, those three being here. I mean, that was surprising um, enough, uh, considering how the previous season ended uh, with like this big fight um, against them and the revelation that uh, they are heroes from um, a different world. Um, but yeah, there was also the moment at uh, the shrine where they they learned about some really important things, um, and there was like this specific part uh, written uh, in in Japanese. So that was um, that was something surprising, and I mean, it's probably related to the I'm not sure about the exact term, those four ancient heroes or something like that. Uh, it's probably related to that, and it was revealing um, like the way to. I'm not too sure, like, the way to defeat this monster, because I think that's just something that um, Osta remembered by being um, at this place, like, so close. Uh, but uh, it was sharing uh, some information about, um, like, not just, uh, like, the tortoise, but also, I think, the waves in general and, like, the concept of this uh, world. So, I'm not too sure, um, like, what exactly... It was, I feel like they just dropped uh, some hints and now it's uh, like, just like trying to connect everything, but no like uh, real um, revelations uh, yet. Um, but yeah, like there was this specific part that um, now for me was uh, reading some specific words. There was like the seal, seventh and shatter. So... I'm not like too sure, I can't really connect that to, to anything, only like the, the seal part probably being connected to, uh, connected to this uh, spirit um, um, a tortoise. There's also the uh, seventh, it crossed my mind that it could be the seventh uh, wave, but not uh, too sure about it, but they did show um, like kind of like the symbol of the waves, I believe, the... I don't know how you call that thing. I knew the name of it, like the thing that uh, has sand inside of it and you just turn it upside down and it starts starts dropping like a, like a, not exactly a clock, but you guys know what I'm saying. Um, but uh, there was like um, this symbol and then there was like seven like sort of stars next to it and then the number seven. So I'm assuming that's the number of waves, at least that's uh, my best guess. Uh, um, right now, and then the shatter, uh, like shatter or, or something, I'm not too sure how to pronounce it, um, but uh, I don't know what exactly it could mean, like, maybe it's related to these other worlds, like how it would affect, uh, like, these other worlds um, as well, it's really hard to, like, f for me to know right now, there's still a lot of mystery uh, in um, all of this, I mean, now for me, uh, came to this place, um, like to this different world, and then it was revealed that uh, this wasn't the only world. There's, um, there's like uh, others. Um, also, something that I'm just noticing. They also showed uh, like the kind of the UI that they have with the party list and uh, like the um, the menus and stuff. And there's like the um, the wave number on the top right, uh, right. So I guess. Um, it's pretty much uh, like um, happening, like wherever they were reading uh, here, it's probably about um, to happen. So again, I'm just like thinking a lot about this. I want to, like, this is something that I really like when they drop uh, ints like this and we have to like um, try to connect everything and come up with uh, like, like a... Uh, I'm not too sure like uh, the word to use, but pretty much just uh, like uh, coming up with, with series and um, trying to think of what uh, is actually going on. So again, really enjoying um, all of this. There was also something that um, I wanted to I wanted to see. 
there was like a, a subtitle on the wall. Just found it. It's um. Okay, there's like some parts that you can't, that like they aren't clear. So there's like the the blank part. So if uh, something summoned from Japan is reading these words, oh, if a hero summoned from Japan is reading these words, remember, oh, remember this. No matter how powerful a seal you place on this monster, the something seven to something shatter something. I've learned that its goal is to something do worlds and something. What could be it? So no matter how powerful a seal you place on this monster, the the wave seventh will shatter it. Oh, maybe that's it. So maybe that's it. Maybe the seventh wave will always trigger this, right? Will always destroy the seal and the. the the spirit tortoise will uh, awaken. I guess it makes sense because they explained before that um, it's only like the spirit tortoise is only supposed to, to awaken when um, there's no like a uh, it's like a last resort, right? So when um, there's like too many of these waves, uh, like the the spirit tortoise just awakens and um, like kills all of these people to like uh, collect these souls in a way to like prevent this um, this uh, world from being uh, like destroyed right i'm not like entirely sure but i'm like trying to connect uh, things here i might like be wrong uh, with this but it's just me like coming up uh, with um, like a theory i guess um and then um, so if it's like the the wave seventh like, we'll shatter it. So that that's pretty much my guess right now, like, filling the blank spots. And then I've learned that its goal is to... And then... Uh, I don't know why, but, like, the part after Worlds, I feel like it should be a part. Like, maybe the, uh, its goal is to... Sunder the worlds apart, like maybe not sunder. I'm maybe thinking uh, too much about Final Fantasy XIV here because I play it, and like it crossed my mind that maybe it could be um, a thing here. I mean, it's kind of similar with many worlds and stuff. Like if you guys played the game, you know what I'm talking about. I don't want to spoil uh, it um, uh, too much, um, but uh, I don't know. Like it's like a. I've learned that its goal is to... It could be like many things, it's, it's really hard to know right now. I'm not even too sure if it could be a thing like the two worlds merging together and becoming one, so... It could be like to connect the worlds together. I'm, I'm not like too positive about this, just something that crossed my mind. Um, but yeah, like it's like I could be here forever thinking about many possibilities. I guess I'm just going to have to uh, wait and see what ends up um, like uh, being the real uh, meaning behind um, all of this. Uh, but I really like this, like the the whole mystery trying to like uh, figure uh, figure it, it out. It's something that um, I really uh, enjoy. Um, but yeah, right now they are inside of the spirit tortoise. They know how to. Um, like, uh, like, how to defeat it, but e even with that, uh, it's probably not going to be easy um, uh, to do so. And there's also these heroes from the other world, like uh, Glass uh, and the other two. Like, I want to know why exactly they are here. It kind of feels like they are up to something. Maybe this, uh, like, what is happening here is also... Like, I'm not too sure how exactly to explain it, but um, imagine if um, what this uh, spirit tortoise is doing, imagine if it's also, if there's also some advantage that they could take from here in order to help um, their own world. I, like, I'm not too sure, I'm just like thinking about um, a lot of possibilities. This is one thing that crossed my mind uh, right now. 
Um, but yeah, like, this is definitely becoming really interesting. I enjoyed the fact that there was like this, um, this right ear uh, for me to think about. Uh, and also, um, like, this development with Risha, it, it became much more clear why exactly she's, uh, like, so in love um, with um, Itsuki. I mean, he literally saved her and her parents' uh, lives, so it makes sense that uh, um, she would uh, have, like, these feelings. Of course, it's not, like, mandatory that uh, the person would need, to, like, to instantly love um, the one who saved them, uh, but... Uh, it's more like she wants to repay him, like she's so grateful for what he did, so of course she wants to, um, to like, um, in a way make up for it, to also be helpful um, to him. So it's, uh, it's definitely like showing how nice um, she is and uh, like also, also like after hearing uh, Ost's, uh, Ost's uh, words, uh, it was also it was also helpful for her because uh, like she's realizing that uh, she's uh, she's helping uh, a lot just by being with the child hero and that uh, right now she should focus um, on that like being with him and uh, like uh, pretty much uh, not too sure like the right word to use but uh, man. It's like on the tip of my tongue, but I can't uh, like uh, remember it. It's not like really evolving, but like becoming better and uh, like uh, eventually like uh, being like a big part um, on this. And I mean, it's not like she's she hasn't been uh, uh, helpful because it's pretty clear that uh, her thing is to is more like information to to like discover these things and uh, like not actually to be in the front lines and fighting and stuff that's not really um like her thing so yeah it's uh, it's something that i'm enjoying a lot just uh, this overall development uh, with her what uh, she's going through and uh, what she's uh, slowly um, accomplishing um, uh, too and yeah, like, just looking forward to see what else is going to happen, not only um, when it comes to her, but, um, like, this whole situation, what uh, they're going to discover um, here, like, uh, when it comes to, like, these other heroes as well, and uh, then eventually, um, like, the heart and the other heroes, like, uh, Itsuki and, uh, like, the, the other two, I I'm assuming that uh, the three of them are here, um, but yeah, again, just a really good episode, it made me like uh, be here thinking about um, a lot uh, of things and really can't wait to see what they're going to show during um, the next one. So, hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to this one. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And you can also join my Discord and my Patreon if you want to get early access to my full reactions. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.